GCSE Astronomy Topic 11 The Planets. What is a planet? Well there are three conditions to be a planet. Uh, if an object orbits a star, uh, if its gravity is strong enough, in other words if its mass is big enough to pull itself into a sphere, uh, and if it has cleared its region of space of smaller bodies. So anything smaller in its orbit, it has swept them away or it has absorbed them. It has cleared its region of space. Now, Pluto isn't a planet. It used to be, but it isn't anymore. Uh, it's a dwarf planet, or you can say that it's a Kuiper Belt object because it basically spends most of its time in the Kuiper Belt. So it hasn't cleared its orbit because there's lots of other bits and pieces around it. And the decision was made to stop it being a planet when another one was discovered called Eris, uh, which is also in the Kuiper Belt or on the edges of the Kuiper Belt, and it's bigger than Pluto. And several others were discovered, so Pluto was relegated. It's not a planet anymore. What else is in the solar system? Well, we've got the eight planets. There's the four inner planets, then there's the asteroid belt, and then there's the four outer planets, then there's the Kuiper belt. And the Kuiper belt kind of thins out into something called the scattered disk. And then there are comets as well. Uh, and there are asteroids which aren't in the asteroid belt. And there's lots and lots of little rocks which we call meteoroids. I will talk about these in another video very soon. Now you'll get this table in the exam. So you don't need to remember all this information, but what you do need to be aware of are some patterns. There are some important patterns in this data, which I'm going to talk about now. Okay, we've got the four inner planets and the four outer planets. The most important difference between them is that the inner planets are much, much smaller and they are rocky. They are small and rocky and the outer planets are big and gassy. So we have the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and then we have the small rocky inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Okay, um, and we've got the diameters there and we've got the masses there. Uh, generally, as we move away from the sun, they get colder uh, interestingly, apart from Venus, Venus is very hot. Uh, the main reason why is because of its very thick carbon dioxide atmosphere, which acts like a blanket. Uh, and so it is much, much warmer than Mercury, which doesn't have any atmosphere. How did the solar system form? Or uh, the big question is how come the outer planets are big gassy giants? There are various theories for this. I'm going to talk about one of them. It's called the core accretion theory. Uh, basically, the solar system formed from a, a spinning disk of stuff called an accretion disk. The sun formed at the middle. And then when the sun actually lit up, when fusion started and we started getting solar wind, what happened was that the lighter elements, your hydrogens and your heliums, were swept out by the solar wind, carried by the solar wind into the outer solar system. And then the heavy rocky material was left behind that formed the inner planets. And then further out where there was much, much less solar wind, then the lighter material clumped together. And that's where you got the gas giants. Let's talk a little bit about each of the planets. There's Mercury, uh, it has no atmosphere. Uh, it's not much bigger than our moon. Uh, its appearance is very similar to our moon. Uh, if it did have an atmosphere, it would be swept away by the solar wind because it's so close to the sun. Uh, and it doesn't have any moons of its own. That's Mercury. Uh, Venus, very similar in size to Earth, a very thick carbon dioxide atmosphere. Um, it spins very slowly. A day is longer than a year. 
and that basically means that one side of it faces the sun just about all the time and then the other side doesn't so one side is much much hotter than the other side and that's Venus doesn't have any moons Earth we know a bit about the most important thing about Earth is that it's the only planet which has liquid water uh, and because of that it's the only place in the universe that we know of uh, that supports life as we know it Mars is further away there is evidence that there was water on Mars in the past millions of years ago there was water because there's evidence of erosion on the surface there are polar ice caps so there is ice on Mars it has a very very thin atmosphere mostly carbon dioxide uh, and it has two small moons Phobos and Deimos which are probably captured asteroids asteroids that got a bit too close and ended up in orbit around Mars Jupiter is the largest planet and it's the first of the gas giants gas as in mostly hydrogen and helium and a few other bits and pieces as well uh, it has a, a giant red spot which is about the size of Earth uh, it's a storm in all of these gases whizzing round that's been going on for about 400 years now it has lots of moons more than 75 the four Galilean moons are historically important the four moons that Galileo saw with his telescope Saturn is another gas giant uh, it has a very prominent ring system that Galileo was the first person to see with his telescope uh, and this ring system we reckon is a moon that got a bit too close and it got smashed up into lots and lots of little pieces uh, Saturn has lots of moons including Titan which is a very big moon and not the biggest Ganymede is slightly bigger they used to think that Titan was the biggest but they reckon Ganymede is a bit bigger now Uranus now this is the first planet to be discovered uh, the other planets people have known about for thousands of years Uranus was discovered by William Herschel in 1781 with a telescope that he built um, it's mostly icy water methane and ammonia uh, lots of hydrogen and helium again interestingly it rotates on its side uh, it has quite a few moons 27 moons named after characters Shakespeare characters such as Miranda and Ariel uh, Neptune uh, another icy giant very similar to Uranus interestingly its existence was predicted due to uh, the gravitational effects on um, Uranus beg your pardon that's a mistake its existence was predicted due to gravitational effects on Uranus there was a little bit of a wobble in the orbit of Uranus and somebody suggested uh, that that was possibly due to another large planet and then they found it with a telescope it has 14 moons including Triton uh, Triton is interesting it has a, a backwards orbit which suggests that it was probably a, a captured Kuiper belt object as um, Neptune is not far away from the Kuiper belt 